What is up guys, Pneumatics here, and welcome to our very first Mod vs. Mod episode. In this series, we pit two mods up against each other, and you guys decide at the end which one is better. So, let's go ahead and drop right into this. Today's Mod vs. Mod episode is going to be all about storage, and not just any old storage, forget about that. We're going to be looking at storage that you can take wherever you go, even across dimensions. Some of these types of storage will even allow you to store some liquids in water or lava and across many different mods. And we'll even be looking at some storage that can be transferred through cables. So let's go ahead and just name off our first mod that we're going to be looking at. The first mod is called Simple Storage Network by Loth Razor. Yes, that's right. This is the mod that I showcased not too long ago and I felt that it was so great that we needed to go ahead and show this off in the Modverse mod to let you guys decide if you like this compared to the other one that I'm gonna show off in a minute. So the Simple Storage Network is simply, in a nutshell, a system that allows you to sort anything you want into all different chests and even siph siphon them out into different chests. Or you can even place a hopper over into a corner and put everything inside that way. It is a really neat mod, and we are going to go check out a even more advanced structure system that I set up over there. So now that we're over here, it does look a pretty fancy, if I do say so myself. I mean, I guess I could have done a little better, but as you guys can see, it is really cool. You can set up all your chests all in a row like this and have them being item siphoned into them specifically based on what you blacklist or whitelist up in this corner. And you can go ahead and do that for anything you want. And then I have over here a little hopper with an import cable that allow you to go ahead and have anything you drop in that hopper imported directly into your sorting system without a use of redstone. How cool is that? But don't get me wrong. It is sometimes cool to use redstone, so this mod author has enjoyed putting in some redstone activations for you, which are stored up right here in this operation upgrade, which can be put into the cables themselves. So if you look in here, you have this top row, you can go ahead and put any of these upgrades in there. So you can have a speed upgrade, the operation upgrade, the stack upgrade, and the stock upgrade, which actually can only be used in the export cable. So pretty cool stuff. That is actually, that one is actually pretty useful in my opinion, because if you have a chest that accidentally got over full and all of a sudden stuff's starting to back up, this will start taking in items up to a certain amount. So pretty cool stuff. But that is not the best of it. This mod also allows you to create some remotes that can allow you to access your storage from wherever you're at. The regular remote isn't that great. You can only be up to, I believe, 22 blocks away or something like that in order to access the rest of your storage over here. But if you went ahead and upgrade to the advanced storage remote, you can take this anywhere you want. You could be over here, you could be 2,000 units away, and you can still access this. Or you could go across dimensions, and you'll still be able to get all your storage needs. Really cool stuff. But if this mod turns out to be way too complex for you, and you make up something that I did when I first got this mod, you probably are going to want to go ahead and go to this one. This one is called... Ender Storage 1.8 by Cover1624. Now this mod is definitely for those of you who want to stick true to your Minecraft roots and just have something that's a little better than the regular Ender Chest. And it's very, very simple. All you need to do is make this little Ender Chest and you can make another one anywhere you want and can you access between the both of them just like a regular Ender Chest. But the difference is these little things up top. You can change the color of these to be color coded in a different combination that'll be used for many different chests and you can do this by going ahead and placing some dye on them. So if I went ahead and use this on all blue, you can see that if I place another one right down next to it, it's not going to access anything that's in it. But if I went ahead and put some more blue dye on top of this one and then I went ahead and accessed it, it would have opened up and accessed anything that was in that one. Obviously that didn't work. Yep, there we go. As long as I had him all right on top, it'll access between both chests. Well, you're probably thinking, yeah, well, that's cool and everything, but what else can this mod do? Well, you could go ahead and make some liquid containers that'll go and act just like the ender chest, and you can use these anywhere you want as well, and they have the same kind of combination up above like this, so you can access this wherever you may be, and you can use, of course, what's in it? Lava, and I have another one that's actually stationed way over there, and that is why it has some lava in it already, or you could have some water, so pretty cool stuff. But that's not the best of this. We also get something called Ender Pouches. So Ender Pouches work just like the remote in the other mod, but you can go ahead and use these with any kind of Ender Chest you want. So you can have like five of these things in five different chests, and you can use them at your will. So if you want to just take one with you, you can take one, you can take two, depending on how much you have in each of these Ender Chests. So if I went ahead and went over to this one, maybe I don't have the right color combination. If I want to change it, just click it onto that chest, and it should change it. Shift click. Yes, there we go. It went ahead and worked now. So if I went ahead and clicked into it now, you see those two opened over there? That means that it is correctly 
what linked up to these two now so just like the remote you can go ahead and take your ender pouches wherever you want you gotta be miles away or you could just go through another dimension and you could take all your items with you the only downside i see of this is that you can't go ahead oh really really it had to start raining of course but anyways so in this little tank i wish that we could go ahead and access some of our liquids but i know that would be kind of difficult because you can't just get buckets out of thin air so that kind of makes sense so to go ahead and break some of these mods down, we're going to go over a couple different features that each one of these have, and then you guys will decide which one you believe is better for your Minecraft world. So in the case of being simple or complex, Ender Storage is probably as simple as it gets to understanding how a mod works when you first download it. So Ender Storage definitely gets this one. In matters of having an entire sorting system compared to just chests that link up to each other, I would say that Simple Storage Network has your back. I would say in matters of having a complete sorting system, I think Simple Storage Network wins this one. Something Ender Storage has that Simple Storage Network does not is the fact that you can actually have liquids stored into a container to be used across anywhere you are. In matters of materials, I would say that Simple Storage Network has a lot of materials that are needed in order to make your storage network even work in the first place. And some of these you need to go to the nether in order to make these work. And then you have the Ender Chest from Ender Storage, which allow you to create things a lot easier but also have a couple items you have to go to the nether for. So this, I would say, is a bit of a tie. So this is the part where you guys come in. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments which mod you think is superior. Simple Storage Network by Loth Razor or Ender Storage by Culver1624. But I think that concludes our Mod vs. Mod episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I really did like going over these two mods. I think they both are really cool. I kind of do like Simple Storage Network a little better, but I don't know. Ender Storage kind of is growing on me. If you guys do leave down in the comments which ones you think are superior to the other i'll go ahead and tally them all up and let you know which one is the winner of course probably over a certain amount of time and i'll go ahead and do that for you guys but if you did like this video please leave a like and of course subscribe to my channel to get content like this probably every tuesday thanks again guys see you in the next one peace